What's up, guys? It's Mike Wall, team leader for the Love Ohio Living Team at EXP Realty, and welcome to another video. I get this question so much. It's um, it's always, Mike, can I be a part-time real estate agent? And uh, it's a very tricky question uh, because uh, there is a way to do it. However, it is very challenging, and you have to be willing to make the commitment. Um, and it is becoming increasingly difficult in the current market we're in here uh, in Ohio, Southwest Ohio, um, specifically Dayton and Cincinnati. And from what I know, it is like this um, all over most of the country. And what I mean is there is a, a shortage of inventory right now. There's a lot of not a, there's a lot of buyers and not a lot of homes being sold. So. Um, part-time real estate agents are at a real disadvantage because there are so many full-time real estate agents fighting for that very little piece of the pie. And um, so I wanted to do a quick video for those of you who are considering getting your real estate license uh, or already have a real estate license and want to work part-time in our industry uh, because there's a very, um, there's a very slim chance of success for, brand new real estate agents uh, who are full-time and that chance goes down um, infinitely more for part-time agents. For those of you who don't know, um, usually, and this is a statistical fact, that about 85% of new agents fail in their first 12 months. And what I mean by that is they either get out of the industry or live below the poverty line. It's very challenging. And I know that's not the expectation of anyone watching this video. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching the video. Um, so, uh, since there is such a, a high failure rate in our industry, um, you know, it is important that if you're going to get into uh, real estate part-time that you have uh, a plan or a strategy. And I'm going to do another video about this. Um, people think that the brokerage that you choose is important. And while it does carry some weight, it's even more important about the group of individuals you choose to get into business with. And um, just to give you a quick explanation of that is, you can join any brokerage, and if you don't get the help and support that you need, uh, more than likely you're gonna fail. And that's unfortunate, I know, in, in, um, in, in our area, because I know a lot of brokerages make a lot of promises, and they just cannot back them up because they don't have the bandwidth. Um, they run uh, on very tight margins and have very limited staff. So they, you know, they're recruiting 100, 200, 300 agents, and they just don't have the bandwidth to be able to support those people. Um, and so if you'll watch my video uh, on uh, joining a team, and this is a great segue into talking about how to succeed as a part-time real estate agent. And let's face it. I mean, most people who are getting their real estate license, um, they're interested in real estate. And um, most of them are interested in starting part time. In other words, dipping their feet in the water, um, seeing if they can make it work and then ultimately quitting their current job because, you know, maybe they don't see a future there. Maybe they're um, not happy. Maybe they're not making enough money. Right. There's a myriad of different reasons why people wanted to get in real estate uh, because um, real estate's a great, great opportunity to make a lot of money. Um, in a very short period of time, uh, without a college uh, degree, uh, without a um, you know, without a lot of I don't want to say hard work because it is definitely hard work. But the formula for real real estate success is fairly simple, right? The more buyers and sellers you talk to, the more houses you're probably going to sell. So that being said, um, being a part time real estate agent, it is important that you find the right group of people to get involved with, right? And when I say right group, um, I'm very biased. I run a team uh, here in Southwest Ohio, so we cover Dayton and Cincinnati. It is important that you get with a team because you're going to need some structure, right? Uh, you have very limited time available in any day, right? Because more than likely you're going to work, um, you know, uh, you're going to work from eight to five, and then you maybe have a small window left. Uh, in the evenings and weekends to have success, right? So you need to, since you have a very limited amount of time, you need to know what you can do or what the most productive activity 
to do in those uh, very limited hours that you have uh, so that you can cr start creating some momentum in your business, selling homes, creating income, and then eventually, you know, quit the other job if that's what you choose to do. So the reason why that's important is usually when you join a team, they're going to give you the tools and resources that you need. And there's no upfront investment, which is really cool because lead generation can get really expensive really quick into the thousands. And so if you join a team who's going to funnel you leads, funnel you opportunities, that's a chance for some quick income, right? And again, it's really about making money at the end of the day so that you can start building up um, uh, some, some uh, a cushion uh, so that you can continue to sell and uh, do more deals. And, and then again, with that ultimate goal being of quitting your job. So. Uh, my recommendation, if you want to work part time, join a team, make sure they're going to give you leads, right? Make sure they're going to help coach you. Make sure they're offering some accountability. Make sure they're helping you build a blueprint to transition over from whatever you're doing now to going into real estate. I'm going to give you a quick story in the, in the video. We had a guy on our team named Jeremy. Um, he's actually one of our best agents now. He started with uh, me. Uh, about four years ago, he was a full-time teacher. His plan was getting into real estate and then trend, or excuse me, getting into real estate, quitting his job teaching. Uh, at the time he was a full-time teacher. Uh, didn't really see a future there. It wasn't really that he hated his job. He just had hit a ceiling and, and, um, or a plateau and just, you know, the opportunity for advancement just wasn't there. So he wanted to be able to transition into real estate. Um, he saw the opportunity here. He wanted to be able to have the flex, flex, flexibility and freedom to spend with his boys, his family, um, and he wanted the opportunity to create a great lifestyle. And so we literally sat Jeremy down. We built out a plan. We said, what is it going to take, right? How much are you making now, right? What are your bills? And then how much is it going to take for you to make in real estate for you to quit that job? And we basically built the blueprint out for him backwards. And... It wasn't about six, seven months later, Jeremy was able to quit his job teaching and transition into real estate. And now he's one of our top agents. And so if you're considering a career in real estate um, and you need a plan or a blueprint to start out part time, I'm going to put a link in the comments here. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's www.meetmikewall.com and uh, I can help you build out a blueprint so that you can transition out of whatever you're doing. If you're truly, truly committed to getting into real estate and having success and building the life of your dreams, then make sure and schedule an appointment. Let's talk and I'm happy to help you transition, build that plan and create the lifestyle that you want for yourself and your family. Have a great day.